So she, you know, I'm I'm an old school guy, you know, I'm in my 40s and you played in the Big East when it was the Big East. Um, just wanted to chat some of your favorite memories, characters, players, and coaches from, from back in those days at Seton Hall. Well, Chris, it's, it's funny, man, because, you know, I never really talked to my team about my success of me playing. I kind of made it just about them. But, you know, you, you look back, somebody posted something maybe, I think, a couple weeks ago. It was on the, the Big East uh, Twitter thing somebody sent to me. And they, they posted the uh, last shot that I made against Oregon in, a, in the uh, first round of the NCAA tournament. You know, there are a lot of memories start coming back in my mind because that was a tremendous year for us. Um, you know, so I, have, I, I got great memories. I got some bad memories as well. <laughs> you know, um, just, you know, I thought back then that the Big East, like, you had to break it. Like, every night you was playing against a pro. And not that it's not like that right now, but it's just that it was so stuck. Back then, there wasn't a lot of transfer. People wasn't transferring as much as they transferring now. So every team went together for at least three, like two to three years. And, you know, it was just a great time to play college basketball in a great league and um, try to get some of the best people in the country. Um, like I said, every night, you was playing against one or two or three pros on the team, and you had to bring it. Like, you had to bring your A game every day. I think that's the memories I, I, I see. It was against school basketball. The referees let you play a little bit, which I like. You know, now right now you can't even, you know, you can't even play hard defense without big on the foul. And I thought that the players were tougher now. Because everybody had the mindset of when it comes to the bitches, you know it was a tough hard in those conference.